All right, so take out this your Palangi workbook, go to your page 138. Okay, so at the same time, I scan it into a PDF file so that for those that young, uh, young ta other when you then you can refer to my screen first. Okay, but for those that already gotten your workbook, which you are supposed to have it, all right, then you can just uh, refer to your workbook. Lah. All right, so by the way, we are still in Bob 6. We are considered in Bob 6. But then this question is not only Bob 6. All right, it's not just about Imbangan Duga Sahaja. So you can see here they give you document. You can see they give you document. All these are the documents. But uh, okay. Then daripada document, you perlu catakan buku catatan pertama. So this is your bab 4. Isn't it? And then minta memintakan catatan dalam buku catatan pertama ke leja. So this is your bab 5. And then lastly, you then only you do your imbangan duga which is your bab 6. Alright, so today we just quickly we try to be as fast as possible to cover all these uh, A, question A, question B, and question C. Okay, so after this, next class, we will straight away masuk ke dalam bab tujuh. Okay, bab tujuh adalah penyata kewangan. Okay, so are you guys ready for today's class? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. So I'll be very fast huh? because if I use a slow or normal speed, I scare I might not be able to complete this thing because we need to do Pukushalam Pertamo at first and then we need to do Leger some more. All right, so. I'll be fast, and but if it is too fast for you, then you stop me. Okay, so now let's read the question. So, by the first May 2022, you can refer to your workbook. All right, so asset dan liability kedai alatan sukan, uh, sukan jaya yang menjual alatan sukan adalah seperti berikut. So, they are saying that this is the Baki yang ada. So for first May. So this is actually a Baki awal. Alright. So dalam your Baki you ada perabot, kelengkapan, tunai di bank. Tunai di bank maksud account bank. Tunai di tangan maksud tunai. And then account belum terima kedai eng dan account belum bayar syarikat hebat. Okay. Urus niaga yang berlaku sepanjang bulan Mei 2022 adalah ditunjukkan oleh dokumen-dokumen dalam lampiran A. So this is the lampiran A. So all these are the document yang uh, ditunjukkan. Alright. So berdasarkan dokumen-dokumen tersebut anda dikehendaki A Menyediakan catatan dalam buku catatan pertama. Maksudnya, we have to do buku catatan pertama. So, buku catatan pertama are those um, journal arm, journal belian, pulangan belian, journal juan, all this. Okay? Termasuk buku tunai. Is it not? So, I have to do buku tunai juga. Alright? And then, look at the bracket. Journal penerimaan dan pembayaran tunai tidak diperlukan. Alright, so we don't have to do the general penerimaan dan pembayaran. And why? The reason is very simple because kita sudah ada buku tunai. So when we have buku tunai, then we don't need to do penerimaan dan uh, general penerimaan dan general pembayaran tunai. Alright, because buku tunai is the same thing as penerimaan dan general pembayaran. Alright, so after that B, you have to pindah dari pada buku catatan pertama into ledger and then C is to menyediakan imbangan juga. Alright. So, as usual, so since now we have to do buku catatan pertama, 
Maksudnya, we have to run through the document first. Okay, so let's see each document where should we record dalam buku syarikat pertama. So, a quick one. So, I already taught you. So, if you've been with me for the past few months and even cover the document and uh, buku syarikat pertama punya bab, then I already taught you how to scan through the document and know where to record. So, you just, when you're looking at the document, first thing, you have to know what documents is this. So, this is the invoice. So, you just look at the top, nota credit. This is the invoice. All right. So, if you know that this is an invoice, so what's next? We know that we have to record dalam journal belian. When you see invoice, you can write down if you want. We have to know that either A, journal belian, atau B, journal jualan. I guess following. If yes, just give me an F in the chat box. All right, so there are only two possible ways. Mesti journal belian, journal jualan. Why? Because invoice maksud secara kredit. I told you, ada secara kredit dan secara tunai. Okay, so when you see invoice, memang is secara kredit. And then secara kredit, it can be either journal belian atau journal jualan. All right, so now, where do we look at? Number one, we can look at this one. Asal. So if you see it's asal, maksud this one is linked to Berlin. Okay, whenever you see the word asal here, you link it to Berlin. So when you see invoice is journal and when you see asal then you know that this is a recording into the journal berlian so this one kita record dalam jb so jb stand for journal berlian boleh ikut tak if boleh you give me a jb in the chat box jb stand for journal berlian okay give you an ex another example ah okay now we look to here and by the way for those that don't know, yang ke atas sini, it can either be asal. Okay, hanya ada dua option saja. Either asal yang ke atas sini atau salinan. Asal atau salinan. So, ke sini ialah asal. So, if asal, belian. If salinan, then jualan. Okay, another way to remember is salinan is S. Alright? So, if salinan S means the same as for sell. You know what sell, sell in, in English lah. Okay, if you don't know what sell, okay, sell is in English. When you translate dalam BM, dia lah, jual. Ah, that's why when you see salinan, maksud jualan. Okay, so this is way number one by looking at this one. Another way is, you tengok. Apa nama penegan kita? Is it syarikat hebat atau kedai alatan sukan jaya? So, you look back to the question. Oh, kita adalah kedai alatan sukan jaya. Alright. So, if our name is kat sini bawah. So, I break down ah to A for atas. Atas dan bawah. So, if your name is kat bawah sini. Then... The B bawah would be for kamu beli. Is it not? So our name ke bawah, that's why ini ialah journal belian. One is because it's asal. Second reason is kita nama ke bawah is beli. So ke belian. If your name is atas, then ialah jualan. Boleh faham tak? If yes, you give me another F again in the chat box. Very good. Alright, so this same technique you boleh guna for all the document for invoice. Okay, now second ah, so document one we know is JB. Document two, 
Dokumen kedua. Look at this first. The tajuk, what document is this? This is a nota credit. So, when you are seeing a nota credit, then you have to use one more rule. Okay, another uh, way to identify this document. So, when you see nota credit, the K here, you link to KP. Okay, you know what's KP or not? Cut. Pengenalan, your IC. IC dalam BM bagi kad pengenalan, right? Okay, so the K here, maksud credit. So whenever you see a credit, you link it to the P. P means pulangan. Okay or not? Okay, ah? so whenever you see not a credit, you straight away think of KP. K is the credit P, you go for the pulangan. So this is a pulangan. This is not a credit, it's a pulangan. And pulangan apa? So if you know your buku cadangan pertama, pulangan hanya ada dua pulangan, dua jenis pulangan. Pulangan belian atau pulangan jualan. Okay tak? So if you know is one of these, only one only, okay? Can either be pulangan belian atau jenis pulangan jualan. Just like any invoice. Invoice can either one. Either belian atau jualan. Credit. Not a credit. Either pulangan belian atau pulangan jualan. So, how do we know if it is B or J? Use the same technique. Asal. Asal is linked to belian. Therefore, we know that this not a credit document ini adalah untuk jena pulangan belian. If you're not sure about the asal, you can look at the name. Mana nama kita? Nama kedai ialah kedai alatan sukan. Ke mana? Bawa B4. Berlian. Faham tak semua? Faham you give me one in the chat box. So this is how you read the document into the buku catatan pertama. Alright? So... Next, now, when you see this B29, tunai maksud secara tunai. I told you just now, there are two cara. Okay, let me write this out. Draw this out for you. Okay, you have to know that beli dan jual, mereka ada dua cara. Either secara kredit atau secara tunai. Atau check lah. Okay, it's the same thing. Alright. So, if you know that this is secara tunai atau check, we straight away record dalam buku tunai. Yeah, so this is the buku catatan pertama site where to record. Okay, now for secara credit, okay, or secara tunai, right? Buku tunai record dalam buku tunai. So what is the document? So the document, yela, bill tunai. Another document for this is receipt resume. Okay. So when you see bill to nine receipt resume, we know that it is recording into the book now. Why? Because it is secara to nine. All right. So what about secara credit? Secara credit is the document when you see invoice. Alright, so then we know that this is secara credit. So secara credit ada dua. It can be either jena belian atau jena jualan. So when you see invoice, we know that this is secara credit and therefore it can be either 
berlian, jurnal berlian atau jurnal jualan. But how do we know if it is jurnal berlian atau jurnal jualan? If berlian, we look at the asal. If jalan, look at salinan. Faham tak this uh, diagram? If faham, you give me an F in the chat box. If can, you draw it into your uh, buku nota ke or what? All right, so this is how you you must know. So whenever you see build to nine, to nine ma. So we know that this is a chapter to nine chat. So you straight away record into buku to nine. Okay, so receipt rasmi sin. So when you receipt, when you give receipt, receipt you give receipt after you pay, after you make payment. Maksudnya dengan to nine lah. It's not secara credit lah. All right, if secara credit memang either general bulan. Atau jenis jualan. Okay. Another one. Or this one will be not, not that debit. So when you see not that debit will be here also. Okay. So if another one is what we saw just now. Which is the not that credit. So when you see a not that credit. So K I say P. Maksudnya this is a pulangan. So a pulangan can be jenis pulangan jualan. Dan jenis pulangan belian. Alright. So. How do we know if it is a jenna pulangan jalan? Same thing. Salinan. The B will be for from the asal. So when you see a nota credit, salinan, we know that we record into jenna pulangan jalan. If it is a nota credit, asal, we record into jenna pulangan belian. All right. Okay. So go back to the document ID. Okay. So we know that this bill tonight is a chart tonight. So we straight away record into the buku tonight. All right. Okay. So this when you see a voucher pembayaran, number that voucher bayar, bayar, bayar. So record into buku tonight. All right. So as long as it's a, something a bayar at the terima. Dalam buku tonight. Okay. You see receipt rasmi. Just I tell you when you see receipt, receipt, maksudnya telah bayar. So, dalam buku tonight. And you see that all these other lah you see. They're telling you it's either tonight or check sahaja. So, if it is secara tonight atau secara check, dalam buku tonight. So, when you look at this voucher pembayaran, they have this thing also. That's why it's dalam buku tonight. Dalam your receipt rasmi, ada tunai nombor check. Buku tunai. But when you look at the invoice, ada tak? Not the credit, ada tunai ada check tak? No. Because mereka tak record dalam buku tunai. So same thing. Receipt rasmi. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. See? They, they telling. So this one ialah secara check lah. Ini ialah secara check juga. Okay. So look at this one. What is this? A keratan check. So, keratan check, check, check. So, so, keyword tunai atau check straight away masuk into your buku tunai. Like what I told you just now. I already draw out for you just now in the whiteboard. Okay, now, use back what we learned just now. When you see invoice, invoice must be journal. Either journal jualan atau journal belian. So, is it a journal jualan atau journal belian? Look at this one. As for sell, sell in the end ialah jualan. So, this is a journal jualan. JJ. Okay, lah. can follow or not? If yes, you give me a JJ in the chat box. So, if you're not sure about the salinan, look at the name. Mana nama penegan kita? Kedai alatan kat atas. Can you see or not? Atas. Up there for the seller. Down there, bawah will be for the Berlian. But our name is atas. That's why we are the seller. The general jualan. Alright. So invoice again, you see? So we know this is a general. Alright. So general apa? Okay. So asal. Asal. Berlian lah. Okay. But sometimes, to be careful, I also like forgot to check. Okay. So sometimes you might need to check the item that you buy. Okay, you have to see if this is the thing that kita beli. Uh, uh, apa yang kita beli adalah stock kita. 
and we are alatan sukan maksudnya when we buy all this bola tanpa la bla 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 la so this are our stock our inventory then we can record dalam journal belian but then if you see something like invoice untuk beli asset and then that one cannot record dalam journal belian Okay, because journal bullion and journal journal, I told you before, the journal has ialah ada untuk merekod apa-apa yang berkaitan dengan perniagaan. Or I say, uh, untuk merekodkan inventory yang berkaitan dengan perniagaan kita. So, perniagaan kita sekarang ialah alatan sukan. Maksudnya, kita beli alatan sukan dan jual alatan sukan sahaja. So whenever you see your invoice is buy all these alatan sukan, then you can record dalam your journal, uh, jualan atau journal belian, alright. But if you see you beli perabot, ah uh, then you cannot lah, because kita punya business jual kasut mah, jual bola mah, jual alatan sukan mah. So when you buy perabot, it means what? It means that you are not buying your inventory. You are just buying perabot as your asset. Then you cannot record dalam journal belian. You have to record dalam journal am. Okay, so this is a bit special case. Alright, so let's continue. Mm, so receipt. Due to nine. Simple. Nine. Okay, receipt. Due to nine lah. Invoice. And then you see, always kita beli alatan sukan kan? Okay, so invoice. Journal. Salinan. Sell. GG. That's it. You see? So simple. So you sure we know what to what record what? Okay. Then you pick out your workbook. I mean, yeah, your puku nota. Then you do. You do it uh dalam itu buku saya pertama. So so far can follow or not? If can you give me an F in the chat box for following? Okay, yeah. Okay, so now when you're recording buku cang pertama, this buku cang pertama is a bit easy, I would say. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let me scan through it again uh, because I didn't really look at the the thing here. The, the penjelasan. Okay, like this one. Uh, okay, this one, yes, there are two things here. You know, like the first thing, yes, you have to record dalam buku tunai. And then because this is a ambilan tunai, and this is an ambilan. No, lah, actually. Not related also. Okay, because they are ambil untuk kegunaan pejabat. Okay, so when they ambil tunai untuk kegunaan pejabat, ah, this is a untuk ambilan tunai untuk kegunaan. This is a BTTB. Let me tell you what. Okay, so um, they don't have ambilan no. Okay, tadi ini bukan ambilan lah, because this is untuk kegunaan pejabat. Unless soalan cakap untuk kegunaan sendiri, untuk kegunaan keluarga, untuk kegunaan anak-anak, uh, uh, peribadi, so on. If the soalan say that, then you record dalam ambilan. Account ambilan and inside your journal arm. Alright, but here ini adalah untuk kegunaan pejabat, therefore we don't record into... Uh, the journal arm. All right, we record dalam the buku tu nanti. Okay, so let's start. So at first kita ada baki awal, and we have to record our baki awal all these thing into our journal arm. All right, always don't forget your baki must be inside your journal arm. So the first thing your journal arm must remember the format, yeah. Dalam uh, your pemeriksaan, they won't give you format punya. So, you have to remember. Butiran. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4.
portfolio. So Okay, so tahun 2022. Okay, Malaysia, Ringgit Malaysia. So this is the format for your journal arm. All right, then start off with May 1, you record the party awal. So you just put in all apa yang kamu tengok dalam sini. So you got perabot. Perabot is an asset, so debit side. Kelengkapan, aset, tunai di bank is bank lah, alright, right bank, and then tunai, tunai di tangan is tunai, account belum terima, kedai, eng, nah, so after you learn the abalim. Asset. Oops. Asset. Belanja. Ambilan. Is it? Liability. Hasil. Modal. Debit. Credit. Now, so when after you learn the Abad Lim and now you apply back to your bab empat, your buku cahaya pertama. Now you understand why that this thing is in the debit side. The parabol is asset, kelengkapan asset, bank is asset, tunai is asset, ABT is asset. That's why they are all in the debit side. So you put in the figure 2,500, uh, 5,500, 9,800, ABT kedai eng, 250. Okay, and then for the credit side, remember, remember for your journal arm, always leave satu gap. Okay, a gap around the, the space of your thumb. Okay, so like you are writing your essay, you know, the beginning of the paragraph, you need to skip some space. Yeah, so something like that for your credit. So this one will be for your account belum bayar because account belum bayar adalah satu liability therefore it will be in the credit side so syarikat hebat oh sangat hebat okay so in the credit side you put the figure 900 and if you remember whenever we are recording on for the baki dalam your journal arm um, we have to make it in bank. The reason we want to make it in bank is because if you add up this thing, definitely tak in bank sekarang. See, you add up, in bank tak in bank. See, debit is 18,000. Credit only 900. So, here will be the 18,050 or so. It's the same, just like when you're doing your ledger. All right. So, here, this amount, we use the Joomla, tola 900, which is 17,150. So, what is this thing? This is actually our model. So, always remember, uh, sometimes they don't give you the model, but you need to remember to record for the model because dalam peniagaan memang mesti ada modal punya. If don't have modal, then something is wrong with the business. All right. So make sure you got the model here. Okay. And why space? Because modal is a is in the credit side. You see your abalim modal dalam credit side. Therefore, it is in the credit side. All right. And they must be imbang punya the baki. All right. Okay, so after that, after you record for this channel arm, the baki awal, then you start off with your document satu. Because biasanya, your document akan uh, disusunkan mengikut 
tarik. So you can see dokumen 1, tarik 2, dokumen 2, 5, dokumen 3, 7, 19, uh, 5, eh, no, no. Ah, so 3, 4 like that go. So you ikut the sequence. Nombor dia, 5, 6, and so on. Alright, so now, for the dokumen 1, you lah 1 journal Berlian, JB. So you skip a few lines because I'm not sure. Later we might come back to the journal arm. So you leave some lines and then you record for your journal. Berlian. So dalam your journal Berlian, you need to remember the format also. You got tarik. So you just copy back. Tarik butiran folio. Okay, but here different. Dalam journal Berlian, journal journal, journal pulangan, Berlian pulangan, journal, they don't have Debbie and credit, they just got jumlah sahaja. So you just put the jumlah. So same year, Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, so this is on 2nd May. May 2. So, butiran. So, when you're recording dalam your journal Berlian, we know that uh, this is the invoice asal Berlian. So, in your butiran, you write the name. Syarikat Hebat. You don't write back your own name, yeah? Okay, our name is Kedai. Alatan Sukan Jaya. So, if you write back your Kedai Sukan Alatan Jaya dalam sini, I don't know what to say. Okay? Because this is your own book already. Ma. Why you want to go and write back your own name here? Leh? I also don't understand. Alright? The reason we are recording this is because we want to know berapa yang kita hutang kepada syarikat hebat. Because ini ialah beli secara Credit. That's why they give us the invoice. Alright. Let me repeat it again. Kita beli. Kita beli secara kredit daripada syarikat hebat. So, syarikat hebat have to give us satu dokumen panggil invoice. Alright. So, when they give us the invoice, we have to record in our journal Berlian. Oh, so, syarikat hebat telah berikan invoice kepada kita kerana kita ada 960 ringgit yang belum bayar kepada dia. That's why I have to record down. So when later, I need to remind myself and pay lah to syarikat hebat lah. Alright, do you understand? If yes, you give me a U in the chat box. That's why kita memang tak record our own name here. Alright, if you write your own name here, then you know 100% salah. You don't have to read the question. If you have your own name here, wrong. Right, must always be the name of the other person, the uh, penegan lain. All right, not our own penegan. So now you, you record jumlah. Don't care about all this discount or uh, whatever. Just record this jumlah nine sixty. You put it here. Okay. Next, then you got the nota credit. All right. So nota credit. This one we record dalam journal pulangan Berlian JPB. So. You skip a few lines and then you do the same thing. Maybe uh, one, two, three, four, lah, four, lah, okay. Then you record journal. Pulangan. Berlian. On May 5th. May 5th. And then to separate, you see? So this is our name. No, we don't record. We record the other name. Syarikat Hebat. Okay, Shad, cut here, right? Prepper, one, one, two. So, why pulangan? So, here, normally, they will write, bola sepak adidah. Okay, bukan adidas, eh? ini bola sepak adidah. Okay, so, kenapa dipulangkan? Kerana sudah rosak. So, apabila bola sepak adidah yang diberi daripada uh, syarikat hebat, so, kita dapati sudah rosak. 
So, selepas kita dapati dia rosak, kita perlu pulangkan kepada syarikat. Hebat. That's why record dalam jurnal pulangan apa yang telah dibeli belian. Okay, one, one, two. Okay, so next. Ini BT, bill tonight. Alright, BT, bill tonight. So, we record lah. Alright, so you record dalam bill tonight. Bill tonight. So, I will do a bill tonight. So, bill tonight is tarik. Butiran. Cari butiran uh, folio dulu. And then, ada discount. Must be discount di discount yang diberi. Because sini kita terima wang. Debit side. Now, I'm recording for debit side. So, when we terima wang, kita have the power to give discount. We have the right to give discount. Okay, diberi kepada orang lain. Then you got the tunai and also the bank. Okay, so here, same thing to the credit side. Only thing changes is this is a discount terima. Same tonight, bank. Okay. Because here the line is like thicker. Lah. Okay. To make it more obvious that there is partition between debit and credit side. All right. Okay. So, when we know that this is in the buku tonight, so the buku tonight, I have to write the title. This is the buku tonight. Okay, can I continue? If yes, just give me a C in the chat box. Make sure you, you have, draw out your, your buku tonight on your buku nota. All right. Okay, so you see, so we know that is in buku tonight, but is it in the debit side or credit side? So you, you need to know how to uh, record for your buku tuna. Lah. So here is the debit side. Debit side means the money comes in, penerimaan. Here is the credit side means out. Lah. Credit means out. Out means when you buy, money itu akan keluar. So here, you record here. Lah. When you buy, when you terima one, you record here. All right. So now, question. So on. Saya tahu I have to record in buku tonight because it's a bit tonight. Memang record dalam buku tonight. But is it in the penerimaan side atau the credit side, the pembayaran side? So very simple. Same thing. Use this one. So when you see a salina means what? Kita jual. Yeah, kita jual. So when we draw barang, what happens to our money? Money akan comes in atau go out. Money memang will masuk. 
When money masuk, masuk means in. In dalam accounting means debit. Therefore, we debit our buku tunai. Can you understand? If yes, you give me a Y in the chat box for yes. All right, masuk lah, right? So when money comes in, that's what we call it penerimaan lah. You menerima wang. When you menerima wang, wang masuk lah. All right? So when you buy ah, wang keluar. When you menerima, wang masuk. Okay? So dia masuk. So I debit my buku tunai. So here is the year. Same thing. You start off with the year first. And then make sure you got all the ringgit Malaysia here. And 2022 ringgit Malaysia RM, RM, RM. So debit, so debit lah here. Um, the date May 7. And then here you write. So you can see our name is on top, meaning we are the seller. Okay, so siapa yang beli? Ini. Puan Li Siu Lan. But the question is, yeah, the question is, ini secara kredit lah. Secara kredit, whenever I say secara kredit, means secara hutang. Okay, it's either secara kredit, secara hutang, atau secara tunai, atau secara check, paid on the spot. So this one is a bit tunai, so this pay on the spot, then we don't, there's no point for us to record the name of the person. Yeah, you know I mean? Because why you want to know the person, the name of the person when dia sudah bayar, okay? Unless you say Jeffrey belum bayar lagi, ah, then I have to write down oh, Jeffrey sedang hutang saya. Therefore, I need to write down the name and then nanti saya go and uh, collect the money from Jeffrey. Alright, but now Lee Sulan sudah bayar, so we don't have to record the name. So all we need to record is this record. What is this? This is actually a jualan. We get our money from. Jualan. So you put jualan. And then, this one is what? Secara tunai. Can you see they cancel the number check and left with the tunai only? Maksudnya, ini kita terima tunai. 648. Take the jumlah always. Okay, not? Alright. So next. So three, we go to four. Ah. You don't jump here. Ah. You put the susunan number. So four here, buku tunai juga. This is a receipt rasmi. All right. So a buku tunai. So here buku tunai. So is it on the debit or credit side? Same thing. When you look at the asal, asal means, yeah. All right, belian. Yeah. So, the belian maksud is on the belian means nanti you have to buy lah, right? Now you have to buy. So, when you buy, buy means out lah, credit. Money keluar. So, here you credit. Okay, you put May 15. But what should I write for my butiran? So here butiran say receipt resmi you computer berhad you beli sebuah computer. Oh, so I buy a computer. That's why here butiran you put you don't write computer. Ah, there is a term dalam accounting for this computer. Yelah alatan pejabat. All the computer machine pencetak. Ah, uh, semua you masuk dalam account alatan perjabat. Faham atau tidak? If I have, give me an F in the chat box. Okay, so how much? Three thousand two hundred guna tunai atau bank. Here you see, ah, uh, they cross the tunai. So left we check. So we know that this kita buy dengan check. Check means bank. All right, 3,200. Okay, next. This one, all right. Okay, number five. Voucher pembayar. So when you see voucher pembayar, pembayar, you straight away know is in the pembayaran side here. 
Pukul tunai, yeah. you buy ya mah. Buy you. So, when you buy ya, one keluar lah. One keluar means credit lah. So, you credit your pukul tunai. On 19. Untuk apa? So, you read the keterangan. Upah untuk pembersihan rang kedai secara tunai. So, this is a upah. So, you just put upah lah. Alright. So, dengan secara tunai, 500 ringgit. 500 ringgit. Okay, done. So you can see that this voucher pembayaran they don't have the salinan atau asa. Why? Because by looking at this voucher pembayaran baya, you sure we know is the on the here this side credit side. But for this blue tuna, just blue tuna you don't know. That's why they give you salinan. They give you hints. All right. Okay. Next, after fifth, you look at six document enam. Receipt rasmi, good tunai. So asa means apa? Bayarlah, belilah, right? Belian, so kita bayar. So when we bayar, maksud wang keluar, credit. So the credit side here. Twenty. Okay. So bayar for what? Actually, now here you read. Menjelaskan sebahagian hutang. Oh, kita. Ini adalah untuk jelaskan hutang. So, when you are jelaskan hutang, now you have to name. Hutang siapa? So, this one pay to who? Syarikat hebat mah. Do you get what I mean? So, kita bayar kepada syarikat hebat. So, syarikat hebat is actually our account belum bayar ABB. Syarikat Hebat. You write the whole thing, uh, ABB. Uh, I'm going to write the whole thing. You write the whole thing for ABB, which is account belum bayar. Okay, in exam, you cannot put ABB only. Uh, in exam, you put ABB only. You, your maka tolak lah. Okay, it's not my problem, your problem. Okay, your maka ditolakkan daripada cikgu. Okay, bukan saya. So, make sure in exam you put account belum bayar dash dash dot dot syarikat hebat. So, now, you can see that kita terima discount. Ter Terti ringgit, right? Let me erase this thing. Ah, Terti ringgit. Kita terima discount. 30 ringgit. So, this can be 30. 30. And then, apa? you buy a berapa? 620 ringgit. So, dengan apa? Dengan check. Nombor check. So, bank 620. Yeah, this one sometimes, be careful. Ah. I put a star here. So, if they give you discount here and they tell you how much they pay, so you just check out 620 and discount. Discount and determiner is 30 ringgit. Okay, next. Document 7. So, this is a keratan check. Okay. When, when you have a keratan check, so if you know what is a keratan check, is a checkbook. So, keratan check is this part. And then here you write the check. Meaning, whenever you have a keratan check, you're actually writing a check. When you write check, means what? You pay, you buy. So whenever you are writing check, you buy, you buy, you buy. All right? Okay, but you have to see carefully. Lah. Okay? Sometimes you look at who is the penerima. Ah. All right? Because just like I say, whenever you write a check, right? Okay? You buy up, but then you have to you have to know also that who is the person that's writing up, okay? But then most of the time when you're looking at this uh keratan check, it's memang surely need to buy up hundred percent because the this is not the check here A and B. A is this part. A and B. A is this part, and then B is this part. 
Okay, Kraton check is A, ah, bukan B. Ah. B check, you can give other people. Alright, that is, uh, the one can be either buyer atau terima. So, I can terima check. When I terima check, I masuk dalam bank, masuk bank, masuk. Wang masuk ke dalam bank saya. So, I terima wang. Okay, if I keluarkan check, then there's buyer. But then, Kraton check is this one. This one stay with you forever. This is my own thing. It's on the book. So whenever I go Kratan check, meaning I have to pay. Saya bayar. Right? But for this one, kenapa? Eh, tulis kepada myself, my own name punya. The reason is because when you read, read the tujuan, ini adalah untuk, apa? You ambilan tunai untuk kegunaan pejabat. Meaning you are actually withdrawing money from your bank account. So that you got cash on hand. All right? Who, like for those of you that yang ada bank account punya, all right? So you, of course, you got money. Let's say your parents give you money. So when your parents give you money, they straight away transfer to your bank account, for example. So now the money is in the bank. The money is in the bank. But then when you want to use, because you go to school, all right? You go to school, you go to canteen, you cannot bring phone. Even though the canteen got e-wallet or QR pay, but then your phone is at home uh, or even you can bring phone you can use in the school. Uh. I don't know now when your generation. Uh, okay, but back then, I we cannot bring phone to the school, uh, but I'm not sure about now. Maybe some school, they allowed to bring phone, but maybe most of them, they don't. I don't know if you are in a, uh, like uh, some international, international school, uh, KDU, I think they allow you to bring phone. Okay, I don't know. But then, let's say in government, I still think that uh, they don't allow you to bring phone to the school. Even they allow, but then you cannot bring it out. Okay, that's what I know lah for now. Lah. Okay, so let's say your money is all in the bank. But then you go to canteen, you need to buy food, you need to use cash. So what you're going to do is, you withdraw the money from the bank and and what? I mean like, when you withdraw the money, then the money becomes cash, lah, right? Two nine. Faham tak? If faham, you give me a, a one in the chat box. Satu. Okay, so this is the same story now. So, sekarang dia ambil tunai untuk kegunaan pejabat. But then this is a chat meaning, dia keluarkan duit wang daripada bank then dia jadi tunai lah how much check ini is 800 ringgit that's why this is what we call a contra when you're doing this thing this is called a contra you don't have you tak ada terima wang you tak ada bayar wang all you do is just to transfer the money from the bank into tunai into cash on hand okay so same thing for this one alright so now you have to know this money is from where to where. So this is actually from bank. Ambilan tunai maksud you from bank to tunai. So if it's from bank to tunai, we use BTTB. Look at the middle here. So the middle here is the last, last form. So now it's from bank to tunai, right? So use BTTB. If it is from to nine, to bank, then you use what? T B B T B B here. You need this from two nine to bank. If it is from bank to two nine, you use B T D B. How do you use this one? B for bank. All right, B T. So you go to the T column, the two nine column. You put the figure. How much? Check in is eight hundred ringgit. So eight hundred. So B T B T T T for two nine. So here you put two nine, and then B the last B bank. So you go to the bank column. You put the figure eight hundred ringgit. So this is actually a contra. So here you put a K for contra down down your folio here K. So you don't have in and out. In and out is just like your your bank out, and then your two nine in something like that. All right, so this is on 22nd.
Can I understand or not, guys? If yes, give me a U. And this is a contra. All right? So you have to know B, T, D, B, and T, B, B, T. B, T, T, B, and T, B, B, T. Yeah. All right? So it's only two. It's either two nine to bank or bank two to nine. All right. So, okay. Eight. JJ. So here, skip a few lines and then you do la. Okay, jualan. Jalanan, jualan. So 2022, jenis jualan. The name, Amran Trading. Amran Trading. Amran Trading. How much if 540? 540, take a look. Okay, 8, 9. Receipt Rasmi, go to the go to 9. So this is a asal. Asal means you buy a B, beli, buy a. So you can see that our name is here. All right. So you menjelaskan sebahagian hutang. And then you terima discount 20. And then 800 from Syarikat hebat lagi. Okay, so when you buy ya, memang you credit lah. Okay, buy ya. So you credit your tunai, buku tunai on 26 to ABB Syarikat hebat lagi. And then you terima discount 20 ringgit. Discount 20 ringgit. And then uh, 500 chat. So 500 bank. Okay, done. Okay, sepuluh. Reset rasmi again. So buku uh, tunai. So salinan, salinan means S. You draw, you sell. So when you sell, you akan terima wang. So when you terima wang, you debit lah. All right. So here, 27 May. Okay, so you can see. Untuk bayaran commission jualan. Oh, so this is a commission. Can you see? So even though you know it's debit or credit, but you have to know what to write in the butiran. So you have to read the keterangan. So kita terima commission. Commission jualan. So this is actually a commission di terima. So cara check, nombor check. So how much? 250. So bank, 250. Okay, I just realized something. I always forget to put a buck here. Okay, so here actually, we miss out something. Okay. Okay, here we miss out something. So this part, always remember, to put your baki. Okay, your buku tunai mesti ada baki punya. May 1. Okay, so this May 1 tadi, you remember, kita bank ada 9,000. So here, on the first line here, you should put your baki BB. 9,000 dalam your bank. Okay, and then, tunai, 800 ringgit. So your tunai here, 800 ringgit. Okay, mesti ah, put baki BB, this is your baki ah, your baki awal. And then how much you look from your question here. So, tunai ada 800, bank ada 9,000. So, you put 800, 9,000. Alright, so let's continue. So, commission diterima, uh, 250, bank, okay, done. Okay, document 11, invoice. Invoice asal, JB, general belian. So, you go to the general belian. Sini sudah buka, don't have to buka again. Pila, 28. Siapa? Menang. Syarikat. Menang. Four nine five. Okay, last. JJ, jenis jualan lah. Right, so jenis jualan. 29. Sepa, I'm run trading.
405. Done. Okay, so that's it. So this is our buku cadangan pertama, but we are not done yet for our buku cadangan pertama. Kita perlu tutupkan semua. So how to tutup? So this one, let's say for this one, right? So draw a line. Your line here. Then this is the last date. Bagi May ya, tiga puluh satu. All right. So this one is what general balance. We call a account balance. Just change. You took a general to account. Then write back account balance. Then you jumlahkan one thousand four hundred and. Fifty-five, then one line, double line. Put a double line there. Close it. So same goes to this one. So this one. Thirty-first. Jenna to go to account, then write back pulangan belian. Jumlah, one one two lah. Okay, then sama dengan ni. Thirty first to go to account. Nine four five. Okay, plus. Okay, and don't forget. Remember, your account bullion is a account bullion. So bullion B belanja is in the debit side. Use where your abad link. All right. So you know that your bullion should be in the debit side. So here you put DT. Push it near to the folder here like that. Then account pulangan belian. So if your belian is debit side, your pulangan belian will be credit side opposite, mah right? So if belian debit, pulangan memang credit lah, right? Then your jualan. Jualan is a hasil, and hasil is in the credit side of your abadling. So therefore, put credit. Thanks. I think this one can close already. That's all for the general. Um, and for my Buku tonight, I can close it also. So, And you uh, skip a line and then you put a one line double line. Okay. I think that visa is bigger, right? Okay, so here two nine to two nine two two four eight. Bank to bank. Okay, then the discount determinant is just similar saja. Alright, so here for this two nine you compare. The jumlah is two thousand two hundred forty eight. You total the five hundred. Then you get one thousand seven hundred forty five. This is your bank HP. Then same goes for your bank. Nine thousand two hundred fifty. Total everything from your bank side here. And then you get four one three zero.
Why seven in the low? It should be it should be five hundred. Is it? It is five hundred. Mm. Uh, nine hundred. Never mind. Just do it first. Okay. So four one three zero. Oh, so you get four one three zero. Oh, Alright. So Bucky HB. And then you put Baki BB lah. BB. And then 1748. 4130. Alright, so after May 1, uh, this should be 31st lah, right? So after May 31st, the next day is June 1. Okay. So after do that so bahagian tujuh ratus sahaja ah okay okay all right because you know what what's the problem not now okay because uh, I saw the answer and then the answer said this is seven hundred ringgit okay they say this is seven hundred ringgit. I was wondering like 500 ringgit. When I look at this document, memang is 500 ringgit. Kenapa jawapan cakap 700? Okay? Just, just I stand for a while like, why are 500 ringgit? But so I didn't say 700 ringgit. Then when I read the Malay, this one ringgit Malaysia, then they cakap ini ialah 700 sahaja. Is it not? Do you have to say meaning this is 700 ringgit? But then, here, they go and write 500 ringgit. And that's why, this is one of the example that sometimes soalan itself other masala, other error. Okay, other mistake punya. Okay, because all this soalan set by a person also. Okay, so if a person to set the question, memang sometimes ada mistake benya lah. Okay, tak boleh lari benya. Okay, so uh, so you sendiri, you have to be smart law, alright? So even if the exam question, let's say you're doing an exam, and then the exam question salah, so you equal the exam question, then you need to tell the your teacher lah, right? Hey, cikgu, your, your soalan salah lah. You, you, you write like that, that's why I follow your question. That's why I'm wrong. Right, so you have to be smart, lah. Okay, sometimes. So if that's the case, five hundred and seven hundred. I'm not sure which one to follow. If you follow the answer, then you follow seven hundred, lah. But then, if logically speaking, definitely we we will follow this figure one and five hundred. We won't go and read two juratu sahaja, yeah, normally. Yeah, but then since the the answer says seven hundred, I think they follow this one, lah. So this one we should change it to seven hundred. All right, so you can change it to 700. So when you change this to 700, then uh, this one will be different, lah, right? So your Bucky HP will become 3,930 because now you use back this one, you minus everything again, you get 3,930, and here your Bucky BB will be 3,930 also. All right, are you clear? If yes, give me a C in the chat box, please. Okay, so yep, so this is your buku catatan pertama. That's your A. Now we go to B quickly and let's do our ledger. All right, so when you are doing your ledger, so for ledger, right, all we need to do is just straight away post from this thing into the ledger. 
right? So I, I assume there's nothing like special here. So we can share away post dalam uh, ledger here. So whatever you see in the general arm, you have to book up, all right? So you either, you have to book up account variable, lah, right? So let me draw first. Okay, now I seriously, I'm going to be very fast. Okay, so this one, ledger is like very simple thing, lah, right? So just book us here. Okay, and let me remind you again, okay? When you got buku tunai already, you sudah ada buku tunai. So when, even though seorang panggil you buat daripada buku catatan pertama ke ledger, okay? You don't have to do ledger for tunai and bank, but you need to do ledger for discount. Diterima. And discount delivery. Discount delivery kosong. You don't have to do lah. But you other discount diterima. 50 ringgit here. So you have to do a ledger for this one. But tunai and bank, tak perlu. Why? Because they sudah ada baki BB and HB. The reason we do ledger is just to show the HB and BB. Now you get it? Why? That's why you see all this journal arm, um, journal belian, journal jalan. Ada HB, BB dah? Tak ada. That's why we need to do ledger. Why we need the HB and BB? Kenapa kita perlu HB dan BB itu? Because we need the BB to do the imbangan duga nanti. Alright? So, quickly, uh, do your ledger. I know you, you know how to do already one. You don't need to follow me. Just quickly open all the account and do. I know you're all that expert, so you don't have to wait for me. Just go ahead if you can do it fast. So you got account per account count kelengkapan. Account. Tunai. Account. Okay, then account bank. Account tunai tak perlu lah, alright? Because kita sudah ada buku tunai, so you can skip it. Bank tunai tak perlu. ABT. Okay. Account. Belum. Terima. Uh, could I earn? Then you got account. Belum. Saya. Syarikat. Okay, but. okay, so all this you see, all in the debit, right? Then put debit side. Lah. So in the debit side here, record. So make sure you got the ring game Malaysia, the year 2022. So this is May 1, Baki Bibi Baki Awang. All right, so uh, 2,500. Then for your account kelengkapan, same thing. May 1, 5,500, ABT, May 1, ABT, could I earn is 250, you put 250. So you see, for bank and tonight, I this one, it is the bot. Baki BB, see? So it's the same thing. So this, your buku catatan pertama, your buku tunai is half catatan pertama and half ledger. Okay, so then your ABB, your account belum bayar is credit. So you put in the credit, 900 here. Boom. Okay, and don't forget about your model. Let's see other yoga. But obviously in the general arm, make sure you got that. How much? 17,150. Boom. All right. The past two. General Berlian, 
ada account balance. So, you buka lah account balance. Uh, how should I open it now? Let me just open here. Account balance. Okay, one thing about this account bullion. Okay, this is on 31st May, right? Okay, you can see this is on 31st May. Okay, then you have to check. Kita ada bullion secara tunai tak? So, you have to check your buku tunai sometimes ah. See other bullion sini dah. Tak ada lah. Okay, if you don't have bullion, then you can straight away put your 31st, this one. Berlian, debit side. You can see, it's in the debit side. So, what I don't want to check here. Yeah. Yeah, to you, Berlian is in the abal lima, right? Berlian is the belanja, so debit. So, here, you straight away, 2022, bring it Malaysia, and then May 31st, then you put account belum bayar. How much? You take the jumlah 1455. Is it? So from here, from general bulan, you can straight away put it here. Then you just put account belum bayar. But then if you are doing uh, account belian daripada ayat one by one, then you have to write the name. You have to record dalam ledger one by one. All right? The reason is because I sudah catat dalam here, so I can just straight away post into my journal. My, sorry, my ledger here. Okay? It's here. So then the next thing will be your pulangan belian. So you buka account Pulangan belian. So account pulangan belian. So if belian is debit, pulangan belian will be on the credit lah, right? So here, May 31st. So look at this one. Account pulangan belian, credit 1122. 112. Okay. Account belum bayar. Then this one will be your account jualan. Okay, so your account jualan, jualan is a hasil, so dia akan berada dalam credit side. So, credit side here, 22 ringgit Malaysia. Now, so whenever you look at the jualan, you have to check back your buku tunai on the debit side again. Then you see, eh, hey, ada jualan ke sini. You see not? So here, I debit my buku tunai, I debit my specifically tunai. Okay, I, deb I debit my 29. So in my account jualan, I have to credit here. May 7. To where? 29. So not 29 here. This one. Jualan. 648, 29. 7. So 648. Why? Because this is a apa, jualan secara tunai. Okay, then only I record from here my journal journal, this account journal. This is all 6948 
945 ini is all jualan secara kredit. So here you write account belum terima. 945. This is on 31st. You see it? That's why when you're learning the account kawalan, right? I said there's jumlah jualan. Jumlah jualan equals to jualan tunai tambah jualan credit. So this is actually the jualan tunai and this is the jualan credit uh, to get the jumlah jualan. Okay, so next, after going through this one, we go into the buku tunai. We go in it. So jualan sudah record. Bank ini tak perlu because it's here in the buku tunai. Now this commission determinant, we have the record. Alright, we have to book a satu uh, account, bang you account commission D terima. Account commission D terima. And for your information, account commission D terima ialah satu hasil. Betul tak? So if dia ialah satu hasil, when you base on the abalim, hasil is on the credit side, therefore we have to credit. But if you use another way, another approach, another technique, you can see that here I telah debit my buku tunai. So if I telah debit my buku tunai, I must credit my commission determinant sekarang. So this one, 250 from bank. So I credit commission determinant, from bank, 150. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then go into your buku tunai on the credit side. Eh, alatan pejabat. Oh, I beli alatan pejabat. So I have to buka satu account for alatan pejabat also. Okay, so you buka satu account alatan pejabat. Account alatan pejabat. Okay, so tadi I credit. Can you see not? I credit my buku tunai here. So now in my alatan pejabat, I must debit and put 3,200. So here, debit side, 3,200. Don't forget about your ringgit leisure. Bila, this is from bank, right? May 15, okay, from bank. Okay, so that, because you have to know this is a system charam bergu. When I debit one thing, I have to create another thing. This buku tunai punya site, I should have record. But then this I, I belum. That's why now I have to book a ledger for it. So then only you can see, telah credit and telah debit bagi urusan ni. Urus niaga ini. Okay, then next, upah ini, 500. Okay, so you book a account upah. Uh, upa tadi credit right okay credit my buku tunai so now I have to debit it lah maksudnya and upa is a belanja that's why I debit it okay nineteen May nineteen to nine five hundred okay then next. This one, ABB Syarikat Hebat. So, you go to your ABB. Do we have the ABB Syarikat Hebat? Yeah, this one. Okay. So, actually for this one, right? Okay. 
account belum bayar syarikat hebat. So you can see that we got BB900 and also because I'm recording for this uh, ledger and therefore I have to put in the ini semua actually. You have this check out the hey but all this thing. I have to put it in. Okay, so May 2nd, I got Berlian. So this one, May 2nd. Okay. Yeah, so here you put, because tadi ya, okay, how do I put it? For my Berlian here, this account belum bayar telah termasuk semua account belum bayar, which is uh, syarikat hebat dan syarikat menang. So now I have to record for syarikat uh, hebat dulu lah, right? So syarikat hebat, tadi saya beli, ya yeah, hebat ni, saya beli 960 ringgit. So I have to credit 960 from my billion. So this is on second. Okay. And then I got another one which is on lima. May lima, saya ada pulangan belian. So you can see on pulangan belian, saya credit. So on hebat, I have to debit here. May five. And then here you put uh, pulangan belian. By one one two, so twenty two two ringgit Malaysia. Okay, then only this one. Hey, but on twentieth, you can see that you got two things here. One is discount terima, and then another one is you bank buyer. Okay, so you can see that here I already credit my bank. Okay. So when I credit my bank, I have to debit my syarikat hebat. So in my syarikat hebat here, I debit 20 and then bank. How much? 620. Okay, and then at the same time, I got discount. Make sure you put discount. Diterima. So the discount diterima how much? It is uh, 30 ringgit. So put 30. Diterima, 30 ringgit. Okay. So this is on 20th minute recording. Now, so when I mention discount diterima, maksudnya, I have to book up account discount diterima lah, right? Tadi ada tak? Uh, ada ada. So you have to open account discount diterima. So you can see that whenever we mention satu account, kita mesti book up punya. Alright? Kita mesti ada. So here discount diterima, you can see you debit your ABB. So maksud in discount diterima, I have to credit lah. Alright? So here... Ringgit Malaysia. So on May 20, to mana? To my ABB, syarikat, this is syarikat, syarikat hebat lah. Ya, yeah, syarikat hebat, right? Ya, yeah, this one, ABB, akan belum bayar, syarikat hebat, 30 ringgit. So here, put 30 ringgit. Okay, I told you this, this county terima, Useless when you actually you have to book up another account for this discount terima because for this book tonight we can only use like this one. That's why you see Baki BB hanya ada for tonight the bank saja. The other discount terima punya because we have to book up our we have to book up account lagi for discount terima. Okay, then 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 okay. So after that is tonight dalam book tonight lah. So don't have to care. Okay, this one ABB syarikat hebat. 20 and 700. So same thing. I already credit my buku tonight, my bank. 
700. So I have to debit my syarikat hebat 700 ringgit. So syarikat hebat gain debit 700 ringgit daripada bank. How much? Uh, when is it? Uh? This is on 26 and I got 20 ringgit discount. 26. And then discount D terima. 20 ringgit. Okay. Okay. Lastly, make sure we do the account for ini juga. Because already buka kedai eng, right? Okay. ABT kedai eng sudah ada. Okay. So, tadi when we beli dan uh, jual, right? Kita ada account yang baru macam syarikat menang dan Amran Trading. Okay, make sure we book an account for that also. Why? Because now we're doing ledger and later we need to do dalam imbangan duga. Alright? So, when we do imbangan duga, kita mesti ada ledger, the baki bibi daripada setiap ledger, setiap account. That's why we have to book syarikat menang, ini. And also, ini, yang belum buka punya. I'm run trading. So, quickly, kita book account. Account belum terima. Account belum terima. Belian, eh, account belum terima. Account belum terima will be Amran Trading lah dalam jenis jualan ABT Amran Trading. So, ABT will be in the debit lah. So, you can see that in this journal jualan, I telah credit jualan. Can you see now? Tadi kita telah credit jualan. Here. This one. 945. 945 is equals to unrun trading. All you add together equal to 945. So, now I have to debit my unrun trading. 540 and 405. 540. So this one is to the Jordan. Then this one May 24 and May 29. Okay, so 540 and 405. Okay, then lastly. Belum mana satu belum lagi. The syarikat menang. Syarikat menang dalam belian maksud dia sejak. ABB syarikat menang. Account belum bayar. Account belum bayar. Syarikat menang. Okay. So, when you look at the Belian here, you can see that account belian kita telah debit. So, when we telah debit account belian, now we have to credit the syarikat menang 495. So, 2022. Ringgit Malaysia. So I think that's all right. Nothing much to record already. So with that, so semua account ledger telah di record. So once you have checked again, you double check and then everything is recorded into your ledger. Okay. The last thing you need to do is what? to close all the account. So like this one, how to close? You just close up, right? So yeah, double double line, double double line. This one, 
So here will be 2,500. You can say 2,500. So here will be 2,500. And then this one will be your Baki HB. Lah. So this one will be May 31, 2022, Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, so when you have HB, you must have BB. 2,500. Da, 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 da. So now you got your Baki BB. Look at that. Now, so same thing for this one. So you just use the same method. 5,500. So, by the way, this is So this one will be your Baki HB. And then when you have Baki HB, you will have your Baki BB. Okay. Then uh, this is June 1, 5,500. So same thing, 150, Baki, HB, May 31st, and then June 1. Okay, so this one Baki BB lah, All right? Okay, then this one a bit different. Okay, so this one you have to elaborate, think, and then equal. All right, so how much have you to add up everything? Someone trying to speak. Up. So here is bigger, all right? So when you have all these things, then you Skip one line, then one line, double line. Now you have to use one line, double line because you have to add up everything. So here is bigger. It goes to 18,000, sorry, uh, 1,860. So 1,860. So use this one and then minus all these things. And then you get 378, which is your Baki HP. First, when you have HB, you have a BB on the other side. Okay, so now, so all these things the same way. Lah. So you just close, close, close. Okay, so after you close everything, we can do the C now, which is the imbangan duga. So let's say here is a C. Now I have to do imbangan duga. So imbangan duga, you know how to do that, right? So imang, uh, let me just. Um, okay. So uh, first thing first, must have the name. So what's the name again? So the name is uh, Alatan. Kedai Alatan Sukan Jaya. And then this is a imbangan duga pada 31st May 2022. Then draw the line. So here will be the debit side and the credit side. Ringgit Malaysia. RM, RM. So let's say, okay, the the two nine billion Baki BB already know right. Okay, so let's say two nine billion. You put two nine here, okay. But all this should be in the keep to the left. 
Okay, so two nine in the debit. All this bucky BB is in the debit side, ma. So one seven four eight. Okay, then the bank. Bucky BB which side? Debit side. Three nine three zero. Okay, three nine three zero. Okay, what about this one? Parabot bucky BB. Debit side. Okay, parabot. Two thousand five hundred. All this thing you did learn in those last class, isn't it? So, Kaleng Kapan. Kaleng Kapan. 5,500 in the debit side also. So, debit 5,500. Okay. Then, account balloon terima. Balloon terima. Siapa? Kedai Eng. Okay. So, Kedai Eng. Debit side juga 250. So you put debit side 250. Then your account balloon bayar. Okay, now this Bucky BB account balloon bayar is where? 378 is in the credit side. So you put uh, account balloon bayar. Account balloon bayar. Syarikat. Hebat. Three seven eight. See, it? so you put in the credit side. So just continue, right? So like modal this one. So baki HP. So baki BB here. Right. So here uh, double line. Oh. So. Seven thirteen thousand hundred and fifty. So Bucky BB. So you can see that your modal Bucky BB is on the credit side also. So you just it could put modal and then credit side seventeen thousand one hundred and fifty. So you just do okay. So now I think we did pass the time. Okay, fifteen minutes. Okay, I know you want to go already. So uh, left with a few more accounts for yourself. So you can go later, I mean, after class, when you're free, when you're doing the homework, you just complete and close all the account and do the HP and BB like what I showed you just now in the beginning. After, done, after you've done all the remaining HP and BB, you just throw it to here, your Imbangan Duga, based on the position of your debit and credit of the account. So like modal, the BB is, is on the credit side, then you put in the credit. Uh. If the parabot BB is in the debit side, the parabot you put in the debit side. Uh. So after everything, blah, 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 then only you add up, you put a one line, double line. And then there should be the same amount. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a one in the chat box. It's very simple. So it's just back to what I taught you in the Imbangan Duga, from Leger to Imbangan Duga, from Baki BB into the Imbangan Duga. All right, so that would be your, this one to complete it will be your homework. And then add on another homework for you. One more question is page 148 and do question 25. That's it. So this will be your homework for this one week, lah, all right, before next class. So you just complete up all these things, close up, and then finish up your Imbangan Dugal. Then the answer, because we're using the workbook, ma, right? This question is actually from your Pelangi workbook. So after you're done, you check back to the answer in your workbook. Should be correct. As long as your this one is Imbang, then 100%, I mean, 99% will be right. Lah. Okay, but just to be double confirmed, you check back to your answer. And after that, do question 25 on page 148. All right, that's it for today. And see you in next class. Goodbye, everyone.